I do my pot pies a little differently than most because I have some weird texture issues. Start off with three or four pieces of bacon. While we have our bacon browning, we're gonna use a little bit of Crisco and we're gonna coat our smaller cast iron. After you get it nice and coated, sprinkle with a little bit of panko. This will help prevent a soggy bottom. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 425. To also prevent a soggy bottom, we're creating a barrier with egg wash. Now we're gonna blind bake it for just a few minutes. Get your bacon nice and crispy and set it aside. Add half a stick of butter and pour in your vegetables. I'm using about two, two and a half cups of broccoli, two to three ounces of mushroom, half an onion, and one celery stalk. I'm gonna add pepper, oregano, and some tonies. Saute this down until your onion starts to become translucent. Then add as much garlic as you'd like. Stir for about maybe three minutes. Add half a cup of flour. Okay, our pie crust is nice and pre-baked. And that cooked for about 15 minutes. One cup of chicken broth. This is homemade, frozen. And one cup of milk. We're gonna add one rotisserie chicken. These are canned carrots and canned potatoes. Taste your mixture to see if you need any additional seasoning. I think I want a little bit more garlic. Missing. Add your bacon back in. It's a little thick. I'm gonna add a little bit more milk. I don't like it soupy though. This is not traditional. I've never seen it this way, but it was recommended, so can't knock it till you try it. Here we go. It says slice some hard boiled eggs. Now spoon your mixture into your pie crust. Oh, y'all thought I was gonna forget? Cilantro. Carefully lay your other pie crust right on top and tuck in the sides create slits to allow the moisture to escape right into the oven. In the last five minutes we're going to add an egg wash to the top. It's been about 35 minutes and voila!